Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. In the most recent issue of Kevin Scott's High Republic comic series, we learn that the Jedi Temple on Starlight Beacon is about to be home to a very dark secret. What exactly is that dark secret? Let's dive into it, but first, spoilers ahead for the High Republic number 8. If you don't want anything spoiled, get those booty cheeks on out of here. After discovering that the wild space planet of Melita was home to the Great Progenitor, which was the first of the Drengear and the heart of the evil plant's hive mind, a contingent of Jedi and the Huts traveled to Melita to strike a massive blow to the Drengear. Once on Melita, the Jedi and Hut forces fought the Great Progenitor, the Drengear, and the Drengear symbiotic guards of giant ants. As the hard-fought battle drew to a close, and to Myarga the Merciless's ire and disapproval, the Jedi refused to kill the Great Progenitor. Instead, the Jedi captured and imprisoned the defeated Great Progenitor within a stasis field, essentially severing its telepathic connection with the rest of the Drengear and disrupting the carnivorous plant's hive mind. Although the operation was successful, Myarga was not pleased that the Jedi chose to ensnare the Great Progenitor in a stasis field rather than kill it and eliminate the Drengear threat once and for all. This is where we learn what the Jedi plan to do with the Great Progenitor after the fact. As Myarga explains her displeasure in the Jedi's decision not to destroy the Great Progenitor, the Jedi Wayseeker, Orla Jarini, explained that the Jedi plan to house the stasis and snare Drengear in the Bogan Vault within the Jedi Temple on Starlight Beacon. Bogan is another more ancient term for the dark side of the force. Essentially, the Jedi plan to imprison the Great Progenitor inside a dark side vault that we have to assume is off limits to not just everyday citizens or politicians, but most likely the vast majority of Jedi. The Bogan Vault on Starlight Beacon is not the first of its kind, nor would it potentially be the only vault or area kept off limits to all but a few select individuals such as Jedi Masters. The Bogan Collection, also known as the Archive of Forbidden Artifacts, was a hidden vault of forbidden artifacts facts associated with the dark side of the Force within the archives of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. It notably contained ancient Sith scrolls and swords, other Sith relics such as the lightsaber of Darth Krall, artifacts relating to the sorcerers of Tund and the Yakumbi, and the helmet of the Sith Lord Darth Momin. Few Jedi had authorization to access the Bogan collection in the Grand Jedi Temple, and those that did, such as the prequel era Jedi Master Jocasta Nu, had to enter it from a secret door that was hidden behind a bookshelf. This was due to the fact that the Jedi believed that the items within the Bogan collection had the ability to corrupt beings with the dark side of the Force. If the Jedi already had the Bogan collection on Coruscant, why wouldn't they just take the Great Progenitor there? During the High Republic, hyperspace lanes were still being discovered and plotted, making areas like the Outer Rim much more dangerous and hard to navigate. Thus, it would make sense that, as the Republic and Jedi were expanding their reach and exploration into the Outer Rim, far from the core in the Jedi Grand Temple, Starlight Beacon provided a closer option for Jedi that came upon dark side relics, objects, or in this case a dark side being, to travel to and offload whatever dark side entity they found. Much like the Bogan collection within the Grand Jedi Temple on Coruscant, my guess is that the Bogan Vault on Starlight Beacon would only be accessed by a limited number of Jedi Masters. This would mean that the captured Great Progenitor would be imprisoned there with a very select number of individuals having access to it. Additionally, only a select number of individuals might even know that the Great Progenitor was incarcerated within the Dark Side Vault on Starlight Beacon, especially if few Jedi could access the vault. The Jedi definitely liked to keep objects, and now potentially beings, of the Dark Side hidden from all but a select few. Aside from the Bogan Collection, the Grand Jedi Temple on Coruscant was built atop a Sith Shrine that was used in purification rituals to strip the darkness imbued within Dark Side objects. This shrine, which was on the very lowest levels of the Jedi Temple, was underground, covered by a meditation area, was kept apart from the temple at large, and was hidden from the vast majority of Jedi themselves, with only a few Jedi knowing the Jedi Temple was built atop a Sith Shrine. So yeah, the Jedi are definitely not averse from keeping secrets, not just from those outside of the Order, but even amongst those within its ranks. This is all to say that the Jedi will definitely be keeping a very dark secret hidden in the Jedi Temple on Starlight Beacon, and I have to wonder if the decision to imprison the Great Progenitor within the Bogan Vault on Starlight will come back to bite the Jedi in the ass. Will something happen in route to taking the Great Progenitor to Starlight Beacon? Will something happen to the Bogan Vault if slash when the 
great progenitor is brought there. As the saying goes, secret secrets are no fun, my friends. I'm sure this is not the last we'll hear about the great progenitor, and I'm hoping that in the coming issues of Kevin Scott's High Republic, we'll get a glimpse of the Bogan Vault within the Jedi Temple on Starlight Beacon and see what else resides there. But what do you guys think? What's your thoughts on the Bogan Vault? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dans on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.